With all the proposals and counterproposals and conflicting claims flying around Washington, it's hard to know who to believe. Which is why Whit Johnson tells us when it comes to getting the budgetary 411, most of D.C. relies on the CBO. On Capitol Hill, it's where you go for numbers. Your baseline assumes what for military spending? Are we treating these different aspects differently in our budget analysis? The answer to the last part of the question is yes. Last year alone, the Congressional Budget Office, or CBO, crunched numbers for Congress in 14 hearings, 33 reports, and 12 budget reviews. It is one of the, the, the geekiest uh, agencies in Washington. Housed on Capitol Hill in what used to be the FBI Fingerprint Filing Center, the CBO is a nonpartisan agency with about 250 economists and policy analysts. Its job is to look at every piece of legislation proposed on the Hill and answer a single question. How much is this going to cost? They pretty much do this or this on all fiscal policy running through Congress. Which is why earlier this week, when the CBO told John Boehner and Harry Reid neither of their debt limit proposals would cut as much as they claimed, nobody argued. Both Republicans and Democrats revised their numbers. We've got to have an official scorekeeper. Even when you disagree with them, if you don't have an arbiter, you've got chaos. CBO figures have not always been accepted so willingly. My judgment, you're not God. During the health care debate, CBO Director Doug Elmendorf took a beating while testifying before Congress. Mr. Elmendorf, do you know? Could you answer that? But former CBO Director Douglas Holtz Eakin says although CBO employees are sometimes a convenient scapegoat for controversy, they do not tell Congress what to do. They'll happily provide options, but they won't say this is the best one and this is the second best one. They will say, Congress, here you go. Enjoy the menu. And the CBO is working this weekend, folks in the office and about 100 on call, available to crunch more numbers should lawmakers ask. Whit Johnson, CBS News, Washington.